What's up guys, back with another educational video and this week we are talking about smartwatches. So one of the biggest myths I hear from people is the following. Well, I ate in a calorie deficit and I didn't lose weight. A lot of times what they're referring to is they track their calories after eating a certain amount of calories and they also tried to monitor how many calories they were expending and they found that even though they were expending more calories than they were eating, they didn't lose weight. Most people are either tracking their expenditure based on like rough equations online or they're using like the treadmill output or the bike that they're sitting on or whatever it is, or they're using a smartwatch. What I would submit to you is what do you all think is more likely? That somehow you are defying the laws of thermodynamics or that maybe the instrumentation that you are using to assess energy expenditure might not be perfect. If you need help answering that one, then you're on the wrong channel. So there was a study done back in 2018 which showed that smartwatches at that time underestimated energy expenditure during exercise by 28 to 93 percent. Meaning, if, you, if it was like 93 percent, that means it might have said you burned 500 calories and in reality you burned like 260. That's a big freaking difference. So if people were looking at their watch going, well, burn 3,000 calories today, guess I can eat 2,500, when in reality they only burned 2,200, now they're eating 2,500 calories, they think they're in a deficit, actually they're in a surplus. But I have had people come out and say, well, Lane, that was the old watches. What about these new watches? So glad you asked. So there was a brand new study published in the European Journal of Sports Science, which looked at three different new smartwatches. So they looked at the Apple Watch 6, the Polar Vantage V, and the Fitbit Sense. They found that the Apple Watch was the best for measuring heart rate. They all did a decent job of that. But when it came to measuring energy expenditure, they were horrific with coefficients of variation between 15 to 25 percent. That is a huge coefficient of variation. So once again, I submit to you that if you think you're eating in a calorie deficit and not losing weight, you're not in a calorie deficit. And if your basis for that is that, well, I burn X number of calories according to my watch, it is much more likely that the instrument you are using to assess energy expenditure is inaccurate versus you defying one of the fundamental laws of thermodynamics. All right, guys, if you liked the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you check out our new research review, Reps, which is research explained in practical summaries. If you've ever felt like you didn't understand what was going on with research or that the messaging out there is too confusing, we have a brand new research review that we're gonna take five studies that relate to training and nutrition every single month and break them down so that anyone can understand them and we'll explain how it affects you and we'll talk about whether or not we even agree with the author's conclusions based on the data in their own study. So make sure you click the links in the description to check that out and we will catch you next week.